Hello everyone, this is Sasha aka Your Frugal Friend and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a Canva template from scratch. I'm going to be showing you how to create my vacation itinerary um, planner from scratch. It's a digital template and it's really simple to create. This uh, tutorial is being done because someone emailed me asking how to just do basic Canva design skills. So this is a basic Canva design skills tutorial. All right, so let's get started. So if we're gonna be making something that's to be used on a phone, we're going to want to go up to your, to the top to create a design. We're gonna go to custom size. We're gonna do 1080 by 1920 pixels because that's the size of a normal cell phone. Then if this is going to be like my vacation planner template here, for example, we'll create this page and then we will create this page. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on your blank template and we're going to first grab a font that we like. So you click on font, just make it here. For a phone, you want to be mindful of in your phone you have, you know, this you might have a phone case or something and you want to make sure that you don't have anything touching the edges that doesn't make sense. So for a font, we wouldn't want this font on the edge because if they put it on their phone, it might get cut off. So I like to center that and it also snaps into place. You see these guidelines and that'll snap into face. So we'll put the enter vacation. So you'll want to select this, all these fonts by clicking in there and highlighting. And then you can go to dream Avenue. That's the name of this font. So there's the font and you see how the and vacation have this white space between them. You can correct that by going here to the top when you have the font selected, clicking on spacing and then clicking down on the line spacing. Then if you want to make it bigger, you can do this and then move it into place. You can also click on position center to center something. This is how you can get it centered. Okay. So then the next thing we have is the second font here. So what I do is I will just copy and paste this. So I did control, so I selected that, did control C and then control V for copy paste. You can also right click, copy and then paste. And then I will select that and I'll type in just corporate to get like an office style font. And now on this, I always make sure to use a free font. You know it's free or paid when it has this little crown because if you're selling this as a template to be uh, customized by the end user, you just have to assume they only have Canva free because if you're giving them a Canva Pro template and they find out they have to pay for each element individually or sign up for something they want to sign up for, they will be very upset. So it's in your best interest to make sure that everything is free. So then I find a bunch of choices and you can just go through and see which one you really like on this one. I believe that I used, I'm not sure, not Mina. Well, I think it was Montserrat, Montserrat. There we go. That's the font. So then you just make this smaller and I just put, that's the name of the vacation destination. So the beach, Jamaica. And you can see I made that 62.5. I just made it a smaller font. Also, this had less of that line spacing. I might make that even more because that font looks better like that. So then we have this and we put it there. You want to be mindful of white space on these designs because I'm creating it in the minimal aesthetic. And so it's like a lot of font is art. It's not super color heavy. It's just very clean and minimalistic. So then the next thing on here is this little uh, map marker spot. So then you can just type map icon on the sidebar under elements and you'll know, find it there. It's a little graphic. So you can just grab a free one. There's one, turn it black, make it smaller and there it is. All right. So then the next element is more text. So we have this. We'll make it smaller and smaller here, or you can just resize by grabbing this edge and pulling and making it down. And you can put the 
address, and then 555-444-3333 for the phone number, whatever you think it'll be. And put that here. And then here we have um, this frame. So this is a frame. You'll want to go to elements and type in the word frame. And then you could click on see all. And all of these frame choices are available for you. This frame, the frame on that design is a really popular one. It's like it looks like a window. So you could type in to the, to the search bar like window frame. But that might actually bring up a photo of an actual window frame. So you still want to make sure that you do the right query or search terms to get the right thing. I just have to keep looking for the one that we want. Like here's one. You can do that. And that already looks pretty slick. So what people would do is they would take this and when they use it, They will be dragging and dropping a little photo in here. That one's obviously too big. You'd want to get one that's an orientation of uh, vertical. So it'd be more like this would be dragged and dropped in there. And so it looks nice. So then you can add another page. And then the next page is a table of contents. So again, it's just the same font and then these little shapes here. So what we're going to do is I will just straight up select this, copy it. Do this, and then this will be our table of contents. I like to keep the same font size as possible between the different sections. Table of contents, and then we have click the button to take you to the page. So click the button to take you to the page. And you see how the font just automatically went to the edges? We want to bring that in. Make it smaller and then center it. So you can also do position center if it's not centering and then center there. So then we want to make the buttons for the, the little clickable buttons for the sections. So we go to elements and we go to see all and we go to shapes and this shape, I mean this shape is not the one I want. I want it to be more like a button and then I might make it just a little smaller so I can fit more things here. Again, center. I'm going to change the color to be more aesthetically pleasing. And then copy paste this text. And then this will be the first section of this, which is trip overview. Trip overview. And then you take this and then you can make it smaller to fit. So we can go down until it looks nice. So 20, we'll make it a nice even number 28. A trip overview. There. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. So you just select all that. You can also group it if you want and then paste it. And then what I do is I grab these two. That's four. And then paste two more. And then paste this one. So then I'll take all this, move it up. Whoops. And then I'll move this up, these up. And then what I do is I'll do position, tidy up to make sure that they're the same distance apart. They're the same left line and center alignment. And that's how I do that. So that's it for those. Um, you can also, you know, obviously you're going to change the name to be on this like daily schedule. And you might need to change the font size for these. So you can just go in and then double click this, change it to 25, make sure it fits, and then do the rest, so on and so forth. Oh, also on this, we have this little home here. So you just want to go to elements and type in house icon. So then you have a little house and you can put it up here. So it's the home key so they can use it to go back to home. This would be home for all of these different sections. And this would be home for the table of contents, the cover page. All right, I'll do one more page here just so you can see how to do something like, we'll do like the daily schedule page. Okay, so on this one, you have the, the date, the header, and then itinerary there. So what I did is I would just copy this, paste it, and this is day one, 
So we'll switch this here, here, day one, and the date, date of month and day. And then I had the word itinerary. And I had that in all caps. So itinerary and it's smaller and also you see here these letters are further apart it just makes it look classic more clean so you can go here select that click on spacing and then letter space it out it just makes it look nice and modern so we have that and then at the top here we had the same kind of letters like this so and then we had a line so what you can do is you can copy this and you can put the words daily schedule with that same thing you can make it smaller if you want it smaller and go here to elements and align because i had a line under it we want to change the weight of the line to one to make it more feminine and elegant place that under and if it's snapping where you don't want it to go you can hit the control key while you move it and it'll override that snap go here this is not the color i want i guess that's black that's fine and then here, and then if it's like at a weird alignment down, you can select it, go to position, and then change this to zero rotation to get it at zero degrees because you don't want that slight tilt, and that just makes it easier. So we have that, and then again, we want the little home button, so we just copy it from here and paste it directly onto here in the same place, and then for the morning, afternoon, evening, we can just take this, paste it, move it down, and we'll be moving this over. Morning. And then you can obviously move that to be aligned with that and just bring this over. And then morning, afternoon, evening. You can make this a heavier weight if you want. It could be two, just to make it differentiated. So then we have more of this style of font to be like a nine. We'll make it smaller. And I had that center aligned under there. And then you just put here activity. Whoops. Activity here. And what you want to do is left align that here. So that was at the top, left aligned. You can obviously make that bigger. So when people fill it in, uh, they have more space to work with. And then you just copy this. Give it a little bit of spacing. 10. Make sure it's lined. Whoops. 11. Activity here. And then I just copy this, all of it. Highlight it, select it, copy, paste. This would be afternoon. And just paste again. And then this would be evening. There you go. And you can obviously make this whatever you want it to look like, more alignment. Make sure the alignment makes sense. On this design, on the other, the other one, I made sure that the times were aligned because the words aren't perfectly aligned. Then you want the activities to be aligned. So it just all kind of looks clean, you know. Um, perfect. So then there's that. And then I, you know, I'm going to change these times to be like 12, 1, and then 2. And then, you know, you could also put like 2, 2, 2, 5 or something. Just so that people can fill it in. They know that they can customize it. And then you have the rest of the evening activities there. And then we can move this up just so it looks better. And then what you can do is you can make sure all of this looks nice. And then we can go to frames, elements, frames. And then, or no, 
on this, it's a grid. So there's a difference between frames and grids. So you have to X out of there and just scroll down and there's grids here. So you'll grab this one because these are movable frames. The frame section, you can't change the size. So just put that down there and that's it. And so for this right here, to make more of this, I obviously just duplicate the page to do day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, stuff like that. So that's the basics of do using Canva to design a product like this. I just did this in 15 minutes. Um, I could easily create one of these from start to finish in an hour. So just know that it's not that hard. It doesn't take that long. Play around with Canva, you know, play around with the fonts, get familiar with searching for fonts. You can always um, go to Google and type in Canva font combinations. It'll give you ideas of these different fonts you can pair together to make a very aesthetically pleasing design. So I hope that that helps. And always feel free to reach out with me with any design questions that you have. I'm here to help.